Good morning. I'd like to thank Dr. Linda Meyer for her extraordinary leadership in autism programs and services, and thanks to Barbara Wells for heading up this comprehensive and very timely conference. If not for votes in Washington today, I'd be joining all of you in Atlantic City. The scope of the Autism New Jersey Conference is truly impressive. More than 85 diverse workshops addressing the critical issues of early childhood, school-aged and adult services, as well as services that span the lifetime, such as age-appropriate social and leisure skills, health care and insurance. The information you garner and share, including the latest research and most effective interventions, will advance our cause and enable each of you to better assist your family members, your students, your patients, as well as your clients. We are brought here together by a common purpose, improving the lives of those with autism. The curriculum you tackle during this two-day conference highlights how New Jersey has become the leader in the availability and quality of autism services. It also provides an opportunity to disseminate knowledge and proven approaches for the benefit of the whole country as other states look for models and best practices. Many of you know uh, that in 2000 I founded the Congressional Autism Caucus and served today as co-chair largely for the purpose of providing a forum to share information and better educate members of Congress about the complex challenges family members, medical professionals, and educators all face as you strive to meet the needs of individuals with autism. Today I'm happy to say over 120 members of Congress are in our caucus. I'm also happy to report that last month the President signed into law my legislation, the Combating Autism Reauthorization Act of 2011, authorizing $693 million over the next three years for key federal autism programs. The funding includes $66 million for the Developmental Disabilities Surveillance and Research Program, $144 million for Autism Education, Early Detection and Intervention, and $483 million for Autism Research and the Interagency Autism Coordinating Committee. Achieving passage of this law was very difficult, particularly in this environment, and I want to thank all of you for the great work that you did in bringing this to pass. I also want you to know uh, that enacting the Combating Autism Reauthorization Act is not the end. There are other important items on the docket. In June, for example, I introduced the Autism Spectrum Disorder Services Act of 2011, or HR 2007, with critical input from Autism New Jersey. That bill focuses on federal autism services programs. For example, it requires inclusion of services and supports for families of individuals with autism in the annual strategic plan of their interagency autism coordinating committee and requires the federal government to establish planning and demonstration grant programs to provide services to children transitioning youth and adults with autism. Like the Combating Autism Act, the Autism Services Bill will take much work for final passage and I look forward to continued collaboration with Autism New Jersey as well as other autism service providers from New Jersey and throughout the country as we educate Congress and fight for passage of this very important legislation. Again, congratulations on a terrific conference and thank you for your dedication for helping those with autism, their families, as well as their caregivers. Have a great day.